Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How many of us have a really screwed up sleep schedule today? How many of us slept through our first alarm? Brett Fowler is making a new bakery. He's gonna specialize in very big turnovers. Today, February 13th, we'll be having pancakes with patties, grilled cheese sandwich, PB&J sandwich, baby carrots, orange juice, fresh fruit bowl, and your choice of milk. Hey, what's up, Wildcats? I want you to fall in love with Educators Credit Union. During the month of February, all members can stop in every time you make a transaction, pick a lollipop for your chance to win some awesome gift baskets. Also, if you know a friend that doesn't have an ECU account yet, bring them on in. We're doing a referral bonus during the month of February. That's right. Every time you refer somebody, you're going to get entered into a chance to win $25, but we are pulling 10 names. And if your name is in there more than once, that's right, you can win more than $25, all the way up to $250 cash. During the month of February, we want you to fall in love with the ECU. Stop on in. Estudiantes que están o estaban en el programa bilingüe, reportense al auditorio en febrero 13 en la hora asignada. Para los estudiantes de grado 9, es a las 2 y 25 de la tarde. Para los estudiantes de grado 10, es a las 12 y 40 de la tarde. Para los estudiantes de grado 11, es a las 2 y 10 de la tarde. Y para los estudiantes de grado 12, es a las 10 y 55 de la mañana para la foto bilingüe. En febrero 12, los estudiantes de grado 11 y 12 pueden venir por su pase al salón 350. Zamaya. Why do you think people shouldn't require? Because this so is I had the best. Space. 
No. In, uh, like, the best class ever. Line. What are some oh, famous yeah. words of Miss Lawson, the best class line, ever? Harry Styles is my husband. Valid. Who am I here with today? Here at Games. Okay, so why should people join choir? Because they'll learn to love it and it'll grow on them. And Miss Lawson's literally the best teacher literally ever. Um, and she loves Harry Styles, so. Uh, who are we here today? Miss Lawson. What class do you teach? Choir. Uh, why do you think people should join choir? I think people should join choir because it's so much fun and it is a good way to make friends and we sing lots of cool songs and it's just the best class ever, obviously. What's some of the, what are some of the songs that you're singing? Um, we are singing Can't Catch Me Now by Olivia Rodrigo. Okay. We are singing Stand Up from the movie Harriet. We are singing Glory. We're, we're focusing a lot on our Black History Month program right now. All good songs. Thank you. My name is Ashana. My name is Victor. My name is Tari. My name is Rashad. And, and we, we are, are a part, part of the Hamilton Student, Student Ambassadors. Ambassadors. The Student Ambassadors is to develop leadership skills, promote team building, and demonstrate acts of service. Most of all, we represent you in the school and in the community. Within the school, the Ambassadors help organize pep rallies and usher at school concerts and graduations. Within the community, we participate in Thanksgiving food drives, volunteer at nursing homes, and conduct meetings with district oh, as a student ambassador you represent the student body and serve the guides for the younger students this offers a responsibility that can be challenging but extremely rewarding to join the hamilton student ambassadors to 2024 to 2025 school year you must meet the quali following qualifications a 2.5 gpa good attendance no suspensions and a written essay on why you want to be a student ambassador actively looking for students for the upcoming school year. Student ambassadors will be handing out applications during student lunch hours on Tuesday and Wednesday. See you there. The most recent LGBT plus pride flag was designed in 2021 by Valentino Vichetti. The new flag has a yellow triangle with a purple circle to represent people who are intersex. The white, pink, and light blue lines are for transgender individuals. The brown and black stripes are meant to honor queer people of color who often face higher rates of discrimination. The rest of the flag is the traditional rainbow stripes, which are meant to represent different hopes and values for the LGBT community, like life and healing. For more information regarding the LGBT plus community, Acceptance Alliance meets every Thursday at 2 p.m. in room 265. Please see your fourth hour teachers for a pass before going to the meeting. Hello, Hamilton Wildcats. Welcome back to Defining Disabilities. My guest today is Destiny. Hello, thank you for having me. Today, we are gonna be going in depth into special education, what it actually is, and why someone might need services. You know not everyone who has a disability needs special education. That is true. But for many students, traditional schooling may not be enough to meet their needs. Actually, Exactly because a lot of what we know about education is built around not having a disability. Schools make changes to make learning available to all people, including those with disabilities. Many people don't realize that public schools are legally required to provide services to students with disabilities, including those who qualify for special education services. Yes, those students have an IEP or an individualized education program, which is a legal document that explains what the student needs support in and how the school is going to help. And this is not something that a school creates slightly. Depending on what the disability is, the school might do different tests to see if the student needs special education in the first place. And a team of people, including teachers and a parent or guardian, have to agree on what the student needs to be successful. They just might learn in non-traditional ways 
and the school has to meet them where their skills are at. Well, that is all the time that we have for today. As always, I'd like to get, thank my guest, Destiny, as well as Ms. Held and our team of students who work behind the cameras to make these videos possible. Hey, what's up, Wildcats? Didn't get what you wanted for the holidays? Well, don't be sad. Stop on by the Wildcat store because I got hoodies and pajama pants, too. Stop on by the Wildcat store Tuesdays and Thursdays. See you there. Registration for boys tennis is open. No experience needed. See Coach Bell in room 358 for more information. Students, please be safe, responsible, and respectful. Thank you. <laughs>